TAF-35. Let's go back to land. The TAF-35 is another extinguishing robot. It's essentially a caterpillar-tracked firefighting system with a turbine. It's produced by the Italian company ME Controls, and it operates in a simple but efficient manner. The turbine sprays a cloud of fine drops of water into the air, like a mist. Then, using a propeller and an airstream, the unit moves the cloud of water towards the fire. The water mist takes the heat away from the fire very quickly, reducing its temperature. In this mode, the TAF-35 consumes up to 1,500 liters of water every minute. There is a jet spray mode, where the water consumption increases to 4,700 liters per minute. The water can also be replaced with foam if required. As other vehicles shown today, the TAF-35 is operated using a remote control, which makes it perfect for situations where it's too dangerous for people to enter a building, or when the area is difficult to reach and a standard fire engine can't be used to get there. The operating range is 300 meters. TC-800FF Here is another interesting equipment that can perform a whole range of important tasks. The TC-800FF from the French company Tektron significantly improves the safety of firefighters, allowing them to perform tasks remotely. The robot is also capable of offering logistics support. It's powerful enough to transport heavy rescue equipment. The TC-800FF can push loads, or in critical situations provide towing force. Cameras and a large number of sensors make it an ideal reconnaissance vehicle. By climbing into inaccessible and hazardous areas, the robot helps to assess risks and gather important information. And the last function is helping victims. The TC-800FF is capable of transporting oxygen cylinders, or providing evacuation by carrying stretchers with people. Its payload is 800 kilograms. Thermite T3 the next robot is capable of replacing a person in a dangerous area. The Thermite T3 is the latest development of the American company How & How Technologies, and a state-of-the-art piece of equipment. Its robust components and protective coating allow it to approach the fire very closely. It can extinguish a fire using a fog nozzle too. At the rear of the vehicle, there's a hose that delivers water from a tank or pond. Of course, people are still needed to extinguish fires. The Thermite is mainly used when it's too dangerous for a person to approach the fire. We are talking about fuel fires, chemical or nuclear leaks. The robot's output is 4,700 liters of water per minute. Bulletproof Origami Almost every day, the police face dangers that can cause serious and even irreparable damage to the health. That's why the priority is to create devices that help protect police officers on duty. Bulletproof Origami is a portable, compact, and deployable shield. It can be placed on the ground, so it's not necessary to hold it with your hands or support it on any surface. The shield unfolds in just a few seconds. This is very important because in critical situations, every moment counts. When folded, the Bulletproof Origami is compact enough to fit in the trunk of a car. The weight of a traditional shield for police protection is about 40 kilograms, a considerable weight, especially for a single person. At the same time, a standard shield is able to protect a single policeman. The peculiarity of the Bulletproof Origami is that it weighs significantly less, around 25 kilograms, and is designed to be used by two or three people. Be sure to pay attention to the shape of the shield. It unfolds, forming corners that further protect the agents from the sides. It should be noted that the shield is made of 12 layers of Kevlar, a special fiber that has a very high resistance. There is also an aluminium rod on the inside. The Grappler Police Bumper Chasing a criminal's car is one of the most dangerous aspects of a policeman's job. According to statistics, only in the United States, one person dies every day as a result of police persecution. In recent years, engineers around the world have been working on inventions that will reduce chase time and make the process safer for everyone on the road. The manufacturer of this device claims that when the suspect increases speed wanting to avoid arrest, he gains control over the situation. The Grappler Police Bumper helps law enforcement officials regain control of the situation. The Grappler hangs on the front bumper of the police car. After pressing a button, a loop is released, which grapples the rear wheel of the suspect's car. 
the knot made of durable material is rolled into the wheel, after which the police car can be stopped, in turn stopping the suspect's car. The braking trajectory is controlled and predictable, and the distance between the cars is quite safe. Therefore, the Grappler Police Bumper is the best solution to end the chase quickly and safely.